and welcome back or welcome to the Outback UK. We're actually out today because the uh, lockdown restrictions have been eased on the UK. Um, we're out on a small bet that you can see behind me. It's absolutely jam-packed to trout. I'm not telling you where it is. Uh, but obviously with uh, river season being closed as well, you can only really target trout in streams, Bexham rivers at minute. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. I'll go over setups that I'm using today and uh, hopefully we can get a few trout. We've seen a fair few, had a couple of bites, but only from like really small ones. But there is a few really deep holes in this beck that stock some like five to seven pound trout. Um, so we are going to try and get some of them. Um, so I'll stop nattering your ear off and let's get straight to it. Right, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of uh, the setup that I'm using. The reel I'm using is a Deo Liberto Pixie PX68L. The rod I'm going with, you know and love this rod, the Majorcraft Benkai. Can't go wrong with a Majorcraft rod. Um, I've got that onto a four pound Berkeley Trilene professional grade. Um, that's straight down, tied directly to a four gram jig head, um, a Molex Sator Worm in 2.5 inch. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the setup that we're going to be using. I might switch out the lures today, but I've been really wanting to get hold of these lures and use them for a while now. So why not today? So let's go do it. Went free again. <laughs> we'll keep trying. Oh my heart. <laughs> right, we'll give it a rest for about five minutes. We're gonna have a little barbecue anyway, so we'll give it a rest for five minutes, then we'll try a different lure. Big trout that keeps topping. We're gonna try and get it now. Oh, we've got it, we've got it. Yeah, no, we've got it. Oh, we've got it. Yes, yes. Oh, it's pulling a bit of drag. Get net. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll get net. Oh, it's pulling drag. It's stripping me. Right. It's a good fish, this. Out of this tiny back. Right, come on. Oh, oh, come on. It's fighting. Oh, come on. Give it a rest. Don't run me into any snags. Oh, it's such a beautiful trout, this. Right, if you just extend it, I'll get the net. Oh, it's digging. Oh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this on camera. Oh, it's such a hard fighting fish. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's going up, it's going up. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, this fish has got such a hard fight in it. Feels solid. Right, getting that in water. I'll bring it to you. Oh crap. Come on, come on. I'll try to bring it up. Oh, it's digging again. It's digging again. Right. Uh -oh. We've got it, got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, and it's in the net. There we go. I'll just have a little look at it, get a hook out of its mouth first. We'll get it away. We'll have a little look at this guy. Really stunning trout. I have such a small little beck as well. Really pretty fish. So that fish there was actually taken on something experimentative. I've got a little um, nymph fly on a five gram uh, cheb weight. I don't have any smaller than this at the minute. I've got some in the post, but I felt like the hooks I was using a little t bit too big because there were a lot of small fish in here. So I switched over to this and well, caught the big fish. <laughs> but yeah, it just goes to show, try new stuff. It might just work out for you. Always get like, always be experimenting when you're out fishing and that because you could find something new that works killer. Try the combinations and uh, catch the fish. I'm going to try sneak up to edge. Could be something in here. We are dealing with a bit of rain as well. Could quite easily be something in here though. Yep. Oh, missed it. Try that again. Yep. Oh, oh it's huge. 
Alright, we're ready. We're ready. as well. Right, I'm gonna step down here. Oh yes. Right, let's get this guy in net. There he goes. <laughs> he didn't want to get in net, did he? <laughs> oh, I think the hook came out as well. Yeah, it did. Right, we've just had him rested up for a little minute or two. We're gonna have a quick look at him. Just so I can show it to you guys. Oop, and not falling water. Got a bit of dirt on him there. Here we go. Just gonna get him back in now. We'll rest him up for a second or two, just while he gets his bearings back. To be fair, he's pretty much raring to go. Let's uh, get him out of the net, turn him out. Get out of the net, please. There he goes. Down to salt. So, unfortunately, um, the GoPro died and the camera in my phone started to die, but to end the day, I thought I'd go to a little spot that I know produces some huge trout. Um, when I say big, I mean there's, it's possible to get like a 10-figure trout. <laughs> a double-figure trout, a 10-pound trout from there is very possible. They're, they're not common, but they are in there. Um, but there's loads of huge fish, so I thought, Right, so I'll go to that little section um, and did manage a really nice trout. Took me on a crazy run. Unfortunately, none of it's on footage, but there is a picture which I'll show for you now. So yeah, that thing took me on one crazy fight. I thought it was gonna snap me off. I thought it was gonna just peel me. Took me under some bushes quite a few times, under a couple of logs as well, it was insane. Don't know how I managed to land it. Landing it was quite difficult as well, but yeah, as soon as put it, got a picture, as soon as I got it back in water, it kicked like crazy. I had my hand on its tail and just like put it under water and it just went boom, kicked a load of water in my face. But yeah, it was such an amazing day that to be fair. A couple of nice small trout from Beck and then that one big girl from uh, another section. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, leave me a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment below when... Uh... Peace!